Hey guys, this is NHSD06, and welcome back to part 12. Gonna go ahead and wrap up this rival battle, hopefully. That's the that's the goal here. First, we're gonna heal up Steve with a nice old super potion. And let him take his double kick turn here, which is annoying. Haha! -ha! Paralysized! That's pretty nice. We'll tackle it. Hopefully we don't get poisoned by its... Alright. Maybe one more tackle. Come on, don't get poisoned. Ugh, that's okay. Being poisoned is not the worst thing in the world. It could be worse. That neat arena was history. Alright. Nice. He's gonna use a bay leaf here. Alright. So first act of business here. We're gonna get rid of that poison. Thankfully we have one Peacha Pecha berry to get rid of that poison. And hopefully I don't sneeze because I can feel one coming. Alright. Gonna go ahead and thunder wave it if we can survive this. Come on, survive. Yes. Very nice. Having it paralyzed will do a wonder. At least in this case. Because it is really obnoxious if it's not. And now it's time to lessen the power of that headbutt. Now that it's paralyzed, it's also a lot slower, so I should be able to um, effectively use Growl, which might seem kind of strange to some of you, but I'm not actually using Growl because I want Jeff to be my main attacker at this point. That's not the game plan. He's not going to be the main attacker. I'm actually going to try to work Steve into this, and you'll see why in a moment. Hopefully, Jeff doesn't die here. Nice, hanging in there. Because we need Jeff to get in at least four to six growls. And then it was six, is, six is the maximum. So, shooting somewhere. Oof, that's rough. He also gets criticals like a mofo. It's ridiculous how many criticals this guy gets. It's, it's actually probably not very fair. And he uses Toxic, which is a butt. It doesn't really matter, though, because Jeff's not... Jeff's more of a... Supposed to just throw in some debuffs here. That yeah, should be three, I believe. And he uses Razor Leaf. I'm just going to keep whittling down Jeff's health. As long as we can get all these growls and it doesn't really matter what happens. Okay. Jeff's probably going to go down after this turn, but that's okay. He's done what he was intended to do. Yep. That's okay. Jeff, you did your you did your job. You growled it. You growled it like a champion. And now it's Steve's turn to take over. First, we're going to go ahead and use Scary Face to slow this Bayleaf down, so it'll not be quite as effective at attacking us. At least speed-wise. We can use Headbutt. Thankfully, it doesn't critical. Most times it does, fortunately. We can use Nightshade. Strangely enough, Nightshade is the move that does the most damage. Where in most scenarios, that's not what happens, but let's just hope for not getting a critical here. Nice. Just keep poison stinging it. Wouldn't only down the health until Nightshade is the move that does the most. Alright. Hopefully Constrict will do just enough. Not force it to the red. Nice. Now we should be able to finish it off with one final Nightshade. Come on. You can do it. Yes! Steve has done it! Steve, you're the man. Or the spider. Um, useless Pokemon. Listen. You only won because you, my Pokemon were weak. No. Barely won. I hate the weak. Pokemon trainers. It doesn't matter who or what. I'm going to be strong and wipe out the weak. That goes for Team Rocket, too. They act big and tough in a group. We get them alone, and they're weak. I hate them all. You stay out of my way. A weakling like you is only a distraction. I don't know why I gave him such a dark, deep, raspy voice, and it just sounds kind of evilish to me. Okay, then. 
Now, up and coming is, uh, well, never mind. I don't want to spoil it. I don't want to spoil something that's going to be taking place in this episode. So we're just going to heal. Right? Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. All right, let's get out of there. I'm going to speed it up. Just me buying things. All right, so super potion. Let's go, ten, let's go the 10 route. And I don't really need repels, so let's get out of here. All right, so let's head over to where we were. And this place that we're headed into currently, I look for it. All right. Here we go. And we have a bit of a puzzle coming up with this weird grass tiling that Zell put in there. I don't really know what's up. This guy's lost his far-fetched. So we need to go find it for him. And we'll go over here. All right, now this puzzle is a little tricky. And oddly enough, I'm going to need to catch this. You'll see why in a minute. Why I'm going to catch this Oddish. Actually, I'll tell you. Um, the guy with the uh, the farfetch, or who's looking for his farfetch. I'm just use this net ball, see if I'll catch it. The guy who has the uh, farfetch will give you um, an, uh, a TM, or an HM, rather. But, um, no, I'm not going to use this Oddish for more than just being an HM slave. Oh, no, I don't want to zoo that. Okay, so we have a revive. And now this Farfetch is going to run around being a complete butt until we get into a certain pattern in which we can do this, which will force it. Hold on. There we go. All right, and once you do that, the Farfetch puzzle is completed, and you win a Metapod. Just kidding. Okay, so now the Farfetch puzzle is effectively done. And then it'll run back to his master, you know, you know, and all that jazz. And then you head back to where those two were standing, and this guy will give you HMO1. Okay, so now that we have cut, we can go into our TM case here, and the otters that we just caught will learn cut for us, and we can now effectively progress to the rest of this forest. Yay! And that's the shrine where Celebi generally will reside if you have the special event and whatnot. No, I don't want a Caterpie. I'm just going to speed up the rest of this forest. It's not really important. No, Caterpie, go away. I don't want one of you. No! Alright. I forgot and now I remembered. Um, there's a Pokemon that I really wanted that's in the Ilex Forest, and it's going to be part of the team, so I'm going to go ahead and go back and get that. I'll be back in a moment. All right, guys, here it is, the Pokemon I wanted. I'm going to go ahead and... Oop. No. I want a Shroomish for my team, and it's going to be named after a friend of mine who you will see after... No Shroomish, bad. You will see who it is after I catch it, if I catch it. Here's to hoping I do, because I've been looking for one of these forever. These things are really tough to find. Ilex Forest has been has become new effect for huh? It's become Come on, come on, come on. There we go, that should be good enough. I'm gonna go ahead and chuck a ball at it. Come on, let's do it! Catch it, catch it, catch it, catch it. Yeah! Shroomish is now going to become a permanent member of the team. That's what I decided. Oh, thank God. And, per request of him, that's why I had to look. Looking for a male one was hard. Oof, a bunch of female ones, but male one finally got one. This is going to be named... Trelly or the Shroomish. So guys, I'm going to cut until we're back outside. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and take on a couple trainers out here before the time limit's up. And we're going to speed this up a little bit. Why not? These battles aren't really anything important anyway. Trelly is now level 7 to learn Sunspore. Nice. He sent out a beautiful eye. Let's get back a Slow it down so I can at least pick Trelly or. Switch him back in for Jeffrey. Ha. <laughs> 
finish this battle and then we'll cut. Level 9, nice. He's gonna use a sand true, so that's gonna. That's Todd's domain. Alright, guys, and level 10. Oh, one more. Alright, one more. Get in there, Jeff. Get in there, Jeff. Show him who's boss. Alright, guys, that's all the time we have from NHS Deal 6. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Be the best that you can be. Pokemon Johto.